I know you all enjoy a what I eat in a day video, so come along for today's video. I will show you the meals that I create to keep me full and satisfied all around starches and vegetables. I love waking up and getting a cup of coffee to start my day. Just reflect on the day before and the day ahead of me and really set my intention before I head out for a walk. Today was a work day for me, so I spent a lot of time actually at my computer. So I did get out first thing in the morning for my morning walk. That is a non-negotiable. I wear my weighted vest that's 20 pounds. I walk about three miles or more every single morning with the animals. And then I head back and I get started on my day. Because today was such a busy day at the computer, I wanted to make sure that I got outside midday, so I ended up taking out some compost to the barn area. That allowed me to get outside, move my body a little bit, and just get a little bit of sunlight. So that's what I did to break up my day. What are you doing? Why are you so cute? What do you need from me? Mama's been working all day. You're like, hey, I need some attention. You too, you too, you too. Oh, you too. <laughs> all of them, all of them, all of them. So I've had some high-end executive calls today, which has been really fun for one of my other businesses. This is not my primary business, y'all. So I do this more as a hobby. Um, but I have a larger consulting company, and so I've just been working away. I've been drinking tea, drinking some water, and working away. And I always say, you don't have to have like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can have one to two meals. You, you don't have to label it. So I actually haven't been hungry because I've been working and all that. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make my first meal of the day. And that's why I say, be intuitive. Like, know if you're hungry or not. Eat when you're hungry. Like, why eat just to eat? Eat when you're hungry. So, let's go. I'm making some quinoa. So, I am doing two cups of water for one cup of quinoa. So, I'm just going to get this boiling on the stove top. I like to add in a little bit of salt and let this boil. And then I will add in my quinoa. I'm just doing like a small salad uh, with quinoa today. In the meantime, while the water's boiling, I'm actually just going to cut up some cucumber. I already have the carrots cut up um, and just small little pieces. So I'm just kind of making like a cold hot salad. So I'm gonna do like a bunch of raw veggies and then um, just get them super small. And then I'm gonna add them to the hot quinoa 
and then add in some dressing. So it would be really yummy. It would be a big, big bowl. I'm cutting up some tofu that I'm going to put into the air fryer for about 15 minutes while everything boils. I'll put a little bit of nutritional yeast and salt on the tofu when I do cook it, not the whole batch, but half of it. So I'm getting my four cup by Pyrex because I will put the, the seasoning in this one. And then my two cup is gonna be for my tofu for later. Add some salt and some nutritional yeast. And then I like to do it in a Pyrex with a lid so I can just like really shake it and then add it to the air fryer. I have boiling water, so I'm putting my one cup in there and then I'll let this cook down until all the water is absorbed. Here's my tofu. And I'm gonna lay it out on here, spread it out and air fry it for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. I love hearts of palm, so I'm going to cut up some hearts of palm to add to this salad. And this will be my bowl that I use for today. Some hearts of palm is kind of hard to get through, so I might eat those differently. If you haven't tried hearts of palm, I really encourage you to try it. It's, it's hard to kind of tell you what it's like. Um, maybe like resembles possibly like an artichoke possibly. This has been going for about less than 10 minutes. So you can tell it's almost about done. All the water's coming out of it. I just like to stir it towards the end. All right, let's check the tofu. That looks so good. So quinoa is just about done. Tofu's just about done. I have all of the veg cut up. Now I need to make the dressing. All right, so I have an oil-free hummus, coconut aminos, and Dijon mustard. And all I'm doing here, this is how easy it is to make your own dressing. Like you just don't have to get complicated. You can take like pre-made things. And so basically I have like a tablespoon of hummus, which can be we'll probably watered down with a little bit of water. We'll just see. Coconut aminos, probably like one teaspoon. And then we have Dijon mustard. So you just have to do it for your own flavor of what you like and then just mix it together. And then this is gonna be the dressing. And like, you can taste it and you can add salt and pepper if you want to it, but this is the dressing. And you can like thin it out with water. I don't think I'm gonna need to. And I'm gonna taste it. So good. That's it. Let's assemble. So I'm just gonna take some of the quinoa, not all of it. Cause I just don't, I'm just not gonna need that much. So I'll probably do half of the thing of quinoa, put it down. I'm going to use all my hearts of palm. I'm gonna use half of the carrots and half of the cucumbers. So then I'll keep the rest for later for maybe another meal. And then, going to stir it up with just these ingredients and then I'll put the dressing on which I may not need all of it. I'm going to put a little bit of lettuce in this just to add some more veg. So we'll just see. And this is a great way to sneak in more veg in your meal is just like cut it down really well. And mix it in. Well, we're gonna put 
tofu on the top. So we're gonna put all this in. I'll show you how I stir it. So here we go. So we have the hot quinoa, which will break down some of the lettuce here. That sun glow is great. And then we're gonna just top it with our tofu. Ended up using the rest of the dressing. So I'm just gonna toss it here. The tofu came out so good and crispy. Whoa. Look at this, this is perfection. Perfection, like look how crispy that is. So good. I'm gonna eat this while it's hot, but I'll go back and clean up the kitchen real quick right after I get done eating this big bowl of goodness. This is so tasty. I literally didn't know how it was gonna turn out. So good. I am going to make some mashed potatoes. So I have seven small potatoes that I'm gonna have. That's how, that's how much I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm gonna add some water inside of the Instant Pot. And when I know I'm making mashed potatoes, I put it on like 30 minutes because I want them like super, super soft. So I don't even have to put them in an immersion blender. So I'm going to go do my chores and this is going to be in the pressure uh, canner for 30 minutes and I'll be back. It's going to be dark, but I'll be back. All right. Everybody is ready to be tucked in and fed for the night. Look at this beautiful sunset. I have four sheep and they are just my mowers. They're my pets. I just enjoy having them and they mow. You can tell got my kitties here. Everybody wants to go in for the night. So we are going to walk down to the barn and get everyone settled. Got some playing going on. My beautiful sheep. Wrapping up the day. So I just got in from a chores. The, I'm cooking a little bit of tofu to go along and the potatoes have eight minutes left. So I am just gonna get some veg ready and get going on creating my dinner. After I do my chores, I always come in, I start prepping my dinner. And if you know, you know, I love a good kombucha. It, is just something that I've been drinking every day for many years and my body just loves it. And so I will enjoy that in the evening time. It's almost like a cocktail for me and it's a real nice treat and almost like a separation of my day into my evening, settling in 
and enjoying a beautiful dinner. Let's prepare our mashed potatoes. So I did these uh, for 30 minutes because I want them like super, super soft when I go to mash them. So I basically just take a fork and they are just so soft. And I'm just gonna mash them up. I need to grab the soy milk. So you may think this is a lot of potatoes, but this is how much I actually can eat. So I'm guessing I'm putting like probably a fourth of a cup to a half a cup, depending on how much non-dairy milk you want to put in here. But you can see it's pretty li liquidy. So I do this first and then I'll put in some seasonings, but I really try to mash it up when I put the milk in it and it makes it really nice. And then I love my herb salt. If you haven't tried this herb salt, I highly recommend it. I, I like it better than like normal salt. I'll link it below. And then nutritional yeast, you just can't go wrong with it. <laughs> so good. And then I just mix this up and the flavor just is just fabulous. So then I'm gonna switch over to a spoon and just mash it a little bit more. See what I mean? I don't even need to like use my immersion blender or anything. I literally, cause I cooked them so long, they just like almost melt. And then of course, taste it and see what you think. But these are gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna grab my 50-50 bowl here. So I have green beans and carrots here. So I'm just gonna put those in this bowl. And today you'll notice I only, this is only my second meal. So I am, I'm not like super hungry, but I know that I'll be, I'll be hungry. So I need to have a well balanced meal. And I'll see how much I end up eating of it. Probably all of it, to be honest. And then let me grab the tofu. And I'm adding in tofu to my meals or beans or lentils now because I just, I am working out a little bit more. And so I just want to have the extra. So here it is. I got my tofu, mashed potatoes, some carrots and green beans full amazing meal to fill me up for tonight and you know I'm not a dessert person so this is my meal and I'll enjoy my kombucha. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do this for you all. I love being able to share with you what I eat in a day, my journey around starch solutions so thank you for being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any other video ideas you want me to produce, you just let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from all of you. Until next time, my friends.